Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Video beer review 1500. Today's beer is a beer in a box, in a cardboard box. It's nicely presented. Here it is. It's in a lovely black cardboard box with lovely gold writing. But I've not chosen this beer for Beer Review 1500 just for that gold writing and just for that lovely black box. It's brewed by Shepherd Neem, Britain's oldest brewer. In collaboration with Sigtuna Brewhouse in Sweden, one of my favourite breweries from Sweden, great beers. And that is also not one of the reasons why I'm reviewing this beer today. And I want to make it clear, it's been aged in bourbon barrels, again. That is not the reason why I'm reviewing this beer. You may all be sitting in your chairs now watching this beer review thinking, yeah, he's reviewing that beer because it's got gold writing and it's a black box. But I tell you not, it's not the reason. The reason why I am reviewing this beer for my landmark 1500th beer review and let me tell you it is a landmark look how old I look it's been four and a half years of, of enjoyment of happiness of meeting brewers of struggle it's been struggle getting this channel off the ground I kid you not The real reason why I review this beer after Beer Review 1500 and four and a half years reviewing beers on YouTube every single day, every single day, is that Shepherd Neem were one of the breweries that got me off the ground. They really helped me with my career. I was at the GBBF in 2011 when a lovely bloke called Mr. John Humphreys from Shepherd Dean tapped me on the shoulder and said, would you like to have a beer? Of course. I was at the beer festival. We had a beer. He introduced himself as Mr. John Humphreys from Shepherd Dean. And at that stage, I was just reviewing beer in my kitchen. I was at the beer festival to interview some brewers to have a good time to drink some good beer I was not expecting the chance to go along to Shepherd Neem and brew my first ever collaborative brew my first ever collaboration now of course since then I've gone on to brew some beers that have landed on supermarket shelves I've reviewed some or collaborated and, and brewed some beers that of being in America and uh, uh, being in Poland. I've gone to Poland recently to brew a beer. At the time, and still to this day, it was one of them moments in life where I wanted to grab it. I wanted to grab that moment. I wanted to grab that opportunity by the horns and I wasn't gonna let go. So, I come home from the beer festival I get contacted by the then head brewer of Shepherd Neem, Stuart Main. Stuart Main, what a cracking fellow. Stuart Main is one of them guys that you can sit and listen to for hours on end. About beer, you could probably sit and listen to Stuart Main about politics about religion, 
he's just one of them guys that when he stands and when he talks, you kind of he's got that way about him that you listen. Um, unfortunately, um, I, I shouldn't say unfortunately. Um, perhaps I should say unfortunately because he was a great brewer. Stu uh, Stuart Main retired. He's now a retired brewer. But Stuart Main was pulled out of retirement from Shepherd Neem. And he went out to Sigtuna in Sweden and he brewed this beer. There you go. On the phone with Stuart Main, um, the first thing he said to me, excuse me for one moment, I'm just finishing feeding my cats. And I remember that moment because I was, I, I'm still extremely keen with beer, but I was just so extremely keen to get down and brew with him. I was like, yeah, go and feed your cats. Go and do whatever you need to do. And then, and then talk to me about this collaboration. So he went away and he fed his cats. He come back on the phone to me and he said to me, what do you want to brew? And at that time, of course, I was drinking a lot of American IPAs, a lot of American pale ales, a lot of the crazy stuff that was going on in craft beer, some of the great stuff in the UK. And I said, Stuart, go over something in your brewing brain and let's brew something special. So we said, what about a ginger porter? With a pound or a kilo, I think it was a pound of fresh ginger. And you can watch the video, just search Shepherd Neem Ginger Porter in YouTube and you'll see us grounding out that fresh ginger. And we went ahead and we went down to Shepherd Neem and we brewed a ginger porter. And that was my first ever collaboration with, with a brewery in the UK. And, and it kind of, the story goes from there and onwards then it goes on from, from again brewing beers in the UK, in America, in, in Poland and whatever else, else happens in my brewing career. I hope, I hope we go on to brew more collaborations but if we didn't, if, if it kind of ended today, if, if my career in the beer industry ended today then I'd be one happy man. I really would. Um, I've achieved. I'm happy. I'm achieved. I've achieved more than I ever thought I ever would achieve by reviewing beer on YouTube. It's given me a fantastic opportunity. Um, so yeah, that's where it all kind of went. That's that's how it started with Shepherd Neem. So how ironic that coming up to beer review 1500 I was scratching my head thinking what am I going to review when and I didn't ask for this beer this beer was just sent to me by Shepherd Neem this this nice cardboard box with gold writing and a black box it just so happened to be in this box I am telling you straight, I am not reviewing this beer because it's in a nice cardboard box. Honestly. I'm reviewing it because it just, fate seems to happen this way. A great looking beer arrives on my doorstep from, from, a, from a guy, Stuart Main, who I really appreciate and I really kind of got a lot of kind of whatever for, you know, I can't think of the word right now. Um, and and Sigtuna, who are, who are one of Sweden's best craft brewers, lands on my doorstep a few days before my 1500 beer review and voila, perfect. Let's get it open. After that little story, I hope it's a good beer. It's it's a big one. It's ten percent ABV. I'll read you the the bottle label in a moment, but let let let's this let this beer do the talking. 
it's a typical barley wine bit of carbonation on the bottom but that looks like a typical barley wine to me it's got a one finger tank on its head you move that beer around look at that fantastic carbonation chasing that head of the glass it's a dark amber mahogany looking beer it's a little cloudy but you would expect that from from craft beer in general when I get a craft beer that's completely clear and completely looking like a lager I'm a little bit suspect I'm glad this beer looks like this it looks like a craft beer I want to get my nose into the beer get some aroma out of this then <laughs> and fantastic wow 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 big chunky chewy multi sweet aroma it's like an alcoholic toffee it's like you've got a little toffee and you've got a little bit of alcohol in it and you kind of chewed it up and it's that big chewy sticky alcohol mm, greatness bit of chocolate bit of coffee bit of caramel the toffee and the sweetness does it for me with a nice hoppy finish on the aroma I have to dive into this now I have been talking far too long yeah that's good that is really good oh. there's a little bit of kind of a uh, let me pick up on the smaller little hints of the taste first in this beer there's little kind of honeycomb tastes there's little kind of burns of alcohol you have your obvious for me in a barley wine that big kind of in a mix between a hoppy and a sweet taste which indicates good balance the bitterness of the hops the sweetness from the malt great balance it's so drinkable it's so drinkable it's a little I will admit it's a little hot there is quite I'm gonna say that moment for the final thoughts and the rating let me carry on I need to make my mind up there's raisin there's plum there's licorice there is a pile of licorice in this beer there is a pile of plum it's like you put grandma's fruitcake in the oven with some with with half a bottle of rum poured on the top and you've left it soak in for two hours and you bunged it in the oven it's very rich but it's good it's good I'm not appreciating it as much as I could because ideally if I had a second bottle of this this would last me all evening I'm drinking it quite quickly to review the beer for you guys and I'm drinking it a little bit too quickly for my liking for most people's liking you don't rush down a barley wine at 10% who are you?
the sticky sweet toffee. Plum raisin licorice. It's fantastic. I'm gonna give my rating. But before I do, I wanna I wanna give a quick kind of read. I wanna read the back of the label. Um for me, Stuart Main's a, he a, a complete legend in the brewing industry. Uh, Stuart Main, with other, with other, let me start again. Stuart Main, with over 40 years in the trade, a legend in his native UK, versus Emil Linden, much younger and with less experience, but already well respected in Sweden. You can imagine, can you? You can imagine that meeting. When, when these two guys got together and they realised that they wanted to brew a barley wine, Stuart Main would have said, I, wanted to, I want to do it like this, and I want to do it like this. And you can imagine the younger Swedish guy saying, saying maybe we had a bit of this and maybe we had a bit of this. And they come together and they, and they kind of realise what they want to do. I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall of that meeting just to be able to get down to the nitty gritty, that final detail of the recipe that they, that they put together to come up with this beer. The result of this meeting across generations is an exciting combination of tradition and innovation of British craft beer making history. I'm making words up, sorry of British beer making history and modern Swedish craft brewing. Sigtuna Brewhouse and shepherdneem.co.uk Check them out. It's a collector's edition. For me, I know it's a long review. I know you're probably thinking, come on, give your rating. But how many people in their lives get to stand in front of a camera and review 1500 beers? It's been a journey. It's been a massive journey. Am I at the end of this journey? I don't know. How far can we go? How many more beers can we drink? How many more styles can we try? Am I just an emotional wreck after drinking all of these beers? 1500 beers. I've had to take nine days off. I've had, I went to Poland and I, and I drunk a lot of beer. And then I went to Italy and I drunk a lot of beer. And I became a little bit ill in Italy. A couple of stomach problems. And I decided to have nine days off. Can my body carry on? Can I carry on? I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is this is a great beer. This is a great beer. It's been a great journey. It will continue, I'm sure. It will continue. Real Ale Craft Beer will continue. I hope for a long time. But rating for this fantastic barley wine. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. It's an eight, eight out of 10 for real ale craft beer. And at the beginning of the review, when I first started tasting the beer, I was going to kind of speak about what I thought of the beer straight away. The, the, but I wanted to check, I wanted to carry on drinking, I wanted to make sure. 
it's a little bit hot. I reckon if you age this beer for two years, that alcohol burn that you get will subside and it'll be a 9 or a 10 out of 10. So, let me pick the box up. If somebody's given you a 2014 edition of Shepherd Neiman Sigtuna Brewhouse Barley Wine 2014, put it in the cupboard for two years and it'll be a corker, let me tell you. It'll be a 10 out of 10 corker of a barley wine. But for now, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Just honest Joe kind of beer reviewing style. Um, it's a little bit hot. It's a little bit kind of alcoholic, but it's still a great beer. Stuart Main, I wish you the very best in your retirement. I wish Shepard Neem the best future they can possibly have as British, Britain's oldest brewer. And I wish Sigtuna Brewhouse, this young Swedish brewery, the very best for the future. Thanks for watching Real Ale Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.